Alright, Kickstart Investment offers a range of options to its clients from low risk to high risk investments due to an increase in clientele. The decision was made to open up a second office in another city to accommodate more clients. Both offices have their own local area network, identify the type of network that will be needed to connect both locations. Then you see um, another city. So it's in another city. So because it's in another city, it's definitely a one. Because if it was in the same city, then it would be a man. Remember, you have land, local area network, man, which is within the same city, and then one, which is wider geographical areas. So, so I want to connect it. Differentiate between intranet and extranet. Um, intranet is, is um, private and only internal users can access it. Extranet is an intranet with special access granted to external people. All right, intranet is private and only internal users could use it. Um, um, extranet is for special access people who have the ability to get it. It's like the example I normally give is a gated community. A gated community is an intranet because only people on the inside will be able to get it. And an extranet, um, extranet is to give special, special users access. So a gated community will give special access to like the garbage truck to come inside and thing, yeah? Complete the following paragraph. Ooh, a paragraph. I haven't seen a paragraph in years. Last time I was here, a paragraph was probably 2017. Some of y'all wasn't born yet. Okay, no, you, you were born. You were born. Okay, yeah. Some of y'all are in primary school. <clears throat> Complete the following paragraph by filling in the blank spaces. Paragraph. All right, there you go. So usually they'll give you words. Let me see if they give you enough space for the words. Now, you know the difficulty of a paragraph question if they give you more words than there are spaces. But if they give you the exact amount of words for spaces, it's not that hard. So let's check. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spaces and they give you three, six, nine, twelve words. Yep. Nani? 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 Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, they want to kill me here tonight. I want everybody to know that they want to kill me here tonight. They do not want me out here. They do. What is this? Alright. So, let's see if we could go through it and make sense of it, right? Remember, we have extra words, so you can't be putting words all willy-nilly. You can't just be like, let me throw a word inside there. The word has to make sense for the sentence. Alright, so there you go. Shortly after opening a new office, some of the employees and customers were experiencing difficulties completing tasks. The something did some troubleshooting and realized that the something converts digital data to analog signals. Okay, pause. We know what digital to analog is. That's a modem for sure, so we could fill that one in, modem. Bam, one down. We don't know who's the person that did some troubleshooting. We will get back to that because we're not 100% sure, right? Because we can't say who did the troubleshooting. We know that there's a modem. So that converts digital data to, and was disconnected from the something that manages and serves all the computers. If you're managing and serving all the computers, that means you are a server for sure, right? So based on the fact that there's a modem and a server, we have to now look at the two jobs that we have. We have a software developer, we have a network administrator and we have a web manager. Which of those three would most likely be dealing with the network equipment? Network administrator. They should have given you more space though. Like, how are you gonna fit network administrator in that space? That's 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 wickedness, man. Like, gosh, you could have given us some more space. Alright. So new network administrator. Good. So we get through that. This prevented the employees from going online and accessing the if you go online. You will have to, you'll try to access the internet most likely. So we'll go with the internet. No, internet in capital letters. Why is it in capital letters? I don't know. We'll put internet. It, it's like they're trying to trick you because they have a, a I, the internet is capital I. So the fact that they say going online, when you go online, the only thing you just go online to access is the internet. Like you don't go online to access a web page or a web server or hyperlinks. No. You go online to access the internet. The employees on the third floor were unable to access certain files on the network. Files on the network due to a power supply hardware failure of the something that is used to connect all the devices on that floor. To connect all the devices on that floor, that's a switch. Yeah. Hardware failure of the switch that is used to connect all the devices. Yeah. Your job of connecting all the devices are definitely a switch to the main computer that manages the network. The something also did some checks and revealed that some of the something on the website were broken. Okay, 
did some checks on Recruiter some. So this person is checking on the website. So the person I'm going to check on the website would be the web manager. Web manager did some checks and reveal that some of the something on the website were broken. The things that could break on our website are called hyperlinks. Like you could have a broken link. This prevented customers from completing certain transactions. All right. All right. So let me take it. Let me take it from the top. See if we're making sense and find the argument for for the other things. Right. Shortly after opening the new office, some of the employees um, and customers were experiencing difficulties in completing tasks. The something did some troubleshooting and realized that the modem that converts digital signals, we know that correct. The network administrator, sorry, um, did troubleshooting and realized that the modem that converts the digital data to analog signals was disconnected from the server. Yes, that's definitely a network administrator because the server manages and serves. So that first part correct, network administrator, modem, server. This prevented the employees from going online and accessing the internet because you wouldn't say um, stop them from going online and accessing the web page. Like a web page is just one page, but they're going online to access and accessing the internet. So we we'll definitely internet there. The employees on the third floor are unable to access certain files on the network due to a power supply hardware failure. So it's a piece of hardware of the something that used to connect all the devices. Now you could put network adapter, but network adapter is only for one device. So because a network adapter is only for one device, you wouldn't get it, you wouldn't get the um the part that says connect all the devices. Because it says connect all the devices, definitely a switches that is the job for that. Next part, the something also did some checks and revealed that some of the something on the website, anything to do with the website, that was clearly web manager hyperlinks. Alright, seven marks. Boom. Well, you work you work pay money in that, in that question. That plenty analysis. I love it. Kickstart investment needs an algorithm written to accept the initial investment amount made and the rate of return. The algorithm should calculate and print the return on investment earned using the formula below. Okay. So they have return on investment is initial investment plus the blah, blah, blah. So there's a calculation here. So this is the process. Everything here is the process. All of that there, process. This is the output process. And the variables of each one of them. Complete the following IPO chart for the diagram. Oh, this this is a really nice question. Really nice. Alright, so let's see. Processing initial investment plus initial investment. This is this is weird to have to write this over though. I'm not too. I like the question, eh? I really like the question. But make him write it over. That's not cool though. Minus initial investment. Okay, I wrote it over. Thanks. The input will be all of the things that you input which is the initial investment and you also have to input the rate because rate is a variable here this is one variable the next one is the initial investment now the repeats of an initial investment here and initial investment here they're all the same thing so you'll just have the input once once so in initial investment and this one here and then the output will be return on investment yeah return on investment okay three marks for that Eek. That's, that's good stuff here. That's good stuff here. Nice question, CXC. Nice question. Well done. Yeah. So really the coolest thing about these possible videos is that I get to explain while doing a question. So a lot of you would learn things that you never saw before just by me working on the question. But sometimes I can't explain every single thing. And I don't know, you might need help explaining. So 3088799. What's up that? and find out what we have available it might be a crash course it might be a class remember when you join my classes all of the classes are recorded so you'll get to see every single thing that we did from the start of the syllabus so if you're not sure about certain questions and you're not sure because the explanations i give in the past papers are a little too fast then what's up the number see what we can do for you if not hope you enjoy the videos and hope you learn a lot while you go through these past paper answers right cool okay write the pseudo code for the algorithm Long time they knocked it to write all the pseudocode in, in the exam, boy. Alright, let's see how this works. So you want to accept the initial investment amount made and your rate of return. Oh look, everything inside here, accept this. The algorithm should calculate and print the return. Okay. So we should name it um algorithm investment. Always name your algorithm, eh? Because there was a time when um when they had a question and they gave a mark for name in the algorithm then you had to put variables um i know writing out all of them words so i just gonna be like um initial investment i i and r yeah start print please enter if you all watch my algorithm playlist this 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 question was cake cake all those who watch the algorithm playlist hands up yeah please enter the 
initial investment and then read um, ii and then you're going or oh, we need to have an output also of ri return on investment yeah so we're just gonna say ri is equal to ii plus ii plus or oh, open bracket sorry open brackets ii plus ii multiplied by r divided by 100 minus i uh, yeah and then print um the return is r i i don't know if you have to put the return is in in quotes they may not give you a mark for having to write all that but it's just proper algorithm writing now to to do that so they ask us to do some basic things which is please enter let me see if the um, eight marks for it yeah they definitely give you marks for variables they probably give you two marks for listening variables two one for prompting three one for start and stop that'll be four one for doing this like five one for doing this die six one for doing the print die seven giving it a name might be a mark you know because i can't get you can't get eight marks from this yeah you can't get eight marks from this do you have to accept the rate you have to accept the initial investment i want to read okay yeah that's true all right but then you're not getting a mark for that because you have to ask for the initial investment amount and the rate so read ii and r initial investment and rate 